Hello and welcome to Thrive Comments. In this video, I'll give you a quick tour of the plugin so you can get familiar with it and think about how you might implement it on your own website. So let's start by looking at the standard WordPress comment system. If you enable WordPress comments on your website, when people leave a comment, that's pretty much the end of the interaction. So I've got a demo blog post here. Let's go ahead and submit a comment. And so that's pretty much it. After I submit the comment, what else can I do? Well, I suppose I can browse another page on the site, but more than likely I'll probably just leave the site. What's nice about Thrive Comments is that you can take advantage of the comment interaction and encourage commenters to do just a little bit more, such as share your blog post on social media or sign up for your mailing list. And so you can use this to try to help meet your business goals. So let me show you what I mean. I've got a demo blog post here. Let's go ahead and leave a comment. And so upon clicking submit, instead of getting a boring thank you message, now the commenter can easily share your blog post or page on social media. And so when you think about it, it makes total sense that someone who leaves a comment on your blog post or page might also be interested in sharing your content. It moved them enough to take the time to leave a comment, so there's a good chance that they'll want to share it as well. Now let's say instead of sharing to social media, you'd rather have your guests stay on your website and browse your other blog posts. So let's see what that looks like. And after submitting the comment, we are presented with related blog posts. This is handy if your goal is to increase the amount of time people spend on your site and get them to read more of your content. You can also redirect to a custom URL. So let's leave a comment. And now we've been redirected to a custom thank you page. We've got a lead generation form at the top. We've got some popular blog posts and there's a few links at the bottom that link to popular services. And there's really a lot you can do with the option to redirect to a custom URL. So for example, if you're launching a big product such as an e-course or a membership site, when someone submits a comment, you can redirect them to a promotion page and hopefully pick up a few extra sales. Lastly, let's say your main focus right now is growing your email list. When someone leaves a comment, you can trigger a Thrive Leads email opt-in. So let's go ahead and leave a comment. All right, so now we are presented with an opt-in form. So those are the main ways you can use Thrive Comments on your website. So now let's take a look at the plugin itself. So here we are in WordPress. Let's take a look at the Thrive Comments dashboard. So just go to Thrive Dashboard and then go to Thrive Comments. And now let's take a look at General Settings. And here is where you can turn Thrive Comments on or off. If you want to require people to register and log in before commenting, you can enable that. But if you don't want it to be required, you can simply check this box here. You can disable comments on older articles. You can choose to break the list of comments into pages so that you don't end up loading hundreds and hundreds of comments all at once. You can choose to sort comments by newest or oldest. If you want individual comments to be shareable, you can enable that. And you can enable Remember Me so that it's a little bit easier for people to come back to your site and leave more comments. And then you can enable GDPR consent. This adds a checkbox that the commenter must check to acknowledge that their data will be stored on your website. Now let's look at the comment conversion tab. So this is where you can set what happens after someone leaves a comment on your site for the first time. And here you can see the options that we looked at earlier. You can display a simple thank you message and you can specify the exact message in the box below. You can encourage social shares. And again, you can customize the message and turn on or off certain social media platforms. You can also display related posts. You can redirect to a custom URL or you can display a Thrive Leads form. In order to use this option, you do need to have Thrive Leads installed. So here's the thing. 
the people who leave comments on your site will often come back and leave more comments on other articles. So it can get tiring for them to keep being prompted to sign up for your email list or keep being prompted to buy a product. So you can choose what happens when someone returns to leave another comment. And so here you have the exact same set of options. Maybe with the first comment, they're prompted to join your email list, but with subsequent comments, they're encouraged to share your post. So let's move on to some other settings. Under comment sign in, you can allow guests to post their website URLs. You can also let people use their Facebook account to sign in. And we do have a tutorial on how to set up this integration under customize style. You can choose a specific accent color to match your branding. Next, you can choose whether to display an avatar or not. And you can also choose what to display if someone doesn't have a Gravatar account. So Gravatar is a globally recognized avatar. Commenters can sign up on the Gravatar website with the email address they usually use for leaving comments on websites in general. And then they can upload a small picture or avatar to be associated with that email address. And so when they leave a comment, that little avatar will display next to their name. Next, you can choose how to display the date and you can opt to display powered by Thrive comments. Next, you can enable voting and badges. So you can enable comment voting so that it's up and down or up only. For badges, badges are a fun thing to add so that when people leave a certain number of comments, they'll get a specific badge next to their name. And you can choose what badge to display. And you can even upload a custom badge. Now, notifications. So in this tab, you can set up Thrive Comments to send a notification to a commenter when someone replies to their comment and slash or when new comments are added to the post. In order to set this up, you will have to set up an integration with an email delivery service. And we do have a written tutorial on exactly how to set this up. Under comment moderation is where you'll find the moderation settings. So for example, you can manually approve comments to combat spam, or you can set it so that commenters must have an approved comment before their new comment appears. So this is handy so that your regular trusted commenters can leave comments without them being held for moderation. And you can also hold comments with a certain number of links or with specific keywords. Now under advanced settings, we have a really interesting feature. When you reply to comments, one of the things you may want to do is link to other blog posts or pages because it's relevant to the comment. So here you can set up automatic links to specific keywords. I'll click add new. And so if I know I'll be referencing, for example, my blog post on salad recipes, and I'll be referencing that often, I can type in simple salad recipes. And then I can start typing the name of my salad recipe post. And so now when I reply to a comment, and if I say, check out my article on simple salad recipes, that phrase will automatically link to my blog post. So also under advanced settings, here's where you will find the option to customize and translate labels. So that's the bulk of what I wanted to show you. There's just a few more quick things. So at the top of the page, if you go to the upper right hand corner, you'll see that you have a reports button. And here you can track how many comments you've gotten over time. But what's really fun is if you go to show report, and here you can see your most active commenters and also your most popular posts. So this is interesting to look at once you accumulate several blog posts and lots of comments. Also, you need to know about the moderation section. Here is where you can approve, reply, or perhaps mark comments as spam. And what's especially handy is that if you have Thrive Ovation installed, you can also save comments as testimonials. And you can use those testimonials on your sales pages, maybe even your home page or your about page. So it's a super handy feature. So let's head back to settings. 
and on the right side of the page is your preview panel. This will display a preview of your comment section with the settings you have selected. If you'd like to see what your comment section will look like on mobile, simply click the mobile button. So that's a quick overview of Thrive Comments. I hope it was helpful and I hope that inspires you to start thinking about ways you can implement Thrive Comments on your site. Thanks for watching.